Hello, Hector Brenes here with the Cisco Data Center Routing and Switching Team. This video shows you how to configure quality of service, classification and queuing on a Nexus 9000. By classifying the traffic, we are matching whatever characteristics our traffic requires, and based on those, provide differentiated QoS offerings. The Nexus switch uses a very similar structure to the classic modular quality of service CLI from iOS. The main difference on NXOS are the type of structures, QoS, queuing, and network QoS. In the broadest sense, you can think of each type as having a specific function. Type QoS is associated with classifying, policing, and marking. Type queuing is associated with scheduling, queuing, and shaping. Type network QoS is associated with global flow control, MTU, pause, and in some platforms, QoS group initialization. This means that the QoS group needs to be instantiated globally for it to exist. The QoS group is an interesting concept. You can think of the QoS group as a definition of we act upon this group to do the following. Thus, once you classify any type of traffic into a particular QoS group, all other commands only reference the QoS group and not the original matching statements. By default, a QoS group is associated with an egress queue. The Nexus 9000 switches are egress queuing switches, and thus traffic is queued on egress. Ingress queuing occurs via priority flow control, which is outside of the scope of this video. It always works this way. A service policy type X references a policy map type X, and that policy map references a class map type X. If you run a show run IPQS all, you see the full default config built into the switches, which, depending on the model, can use a 4 or 8 queue structure. Both structures are created, but only one is applied. In this case, this cloud scale switch is using an 8 queue structure, so that is the focus here. If you segment the applied configuration, it references the type network QoS structure and the type queuing structure. On the Nexus 9000, the other QoS groups are already instantiated, but by default, everything falls into the default queue. In this case, QoS group 0. It is important to highlight that the Nexus 9000 switches trust and preserves type of service markings traversing the switch, even if there is no QoS configuration in place on the switch itself. Notice here that the policy map type queuing is allocating 100% of the bandwidth remaining to the default queue and not allocating anything else to any of the other queues. Notice as well that Q7 is configured as a priority queue. Any traffic mapped to that group will work as priority traffic does not require bandwidth reservation. Nonetheless, be careful that queues 1 through 6 do not have any bandwidth associated with them and do not work. Any traffic assigned here is discarded, as the bandwidth allocated is zero. Therefore, if a custom QoS is required, then it is required that a policy map type queuing is cloned from the same template structure, meaning following the same four or eight queues to allocate bandwidth to the other queues that are planned to be used. You cannot modify the default policy map. In this example, you match the eight queue default policy structure by configuring a priority queue, in this case Q7, leaving the queues 4 through 6 on touch with no bandwidth allocation, and assigning bandwidth to the queues 1 through 3 by lowering the bandwidth assigned to the default queue. The sum of all bandwidth will add up to 100. The costume type queuing policy needs to be applied either at a global level under system QS or under the relevant interfaces on egress. In this example, two ways to match traffic are used. One via an access list, in this case based on where the traffic originated from, and the other directly on the DHCP markings received on the ingress packets. This of course is normally the first step as it deals with the classification and markings. In order to classify traffic, the goal is to create a class map type QoS that matches a particular traffic segment to which quality of service needs to be applied and assign it to a policy map type QoS in which that selection is attached to a particular QoS group. After that, a service policy type QoS is defined and applied at the interface level to classify the traffic inbound. This is called upon the class map type QoS. You can use multiple match statements to get a more granular solution and other parameters as well. 
including layer 2 class of service markings if the ingress traffic is .1Q tagged. Notice that the assignment of the match traffic onto the proper QS group is performed at the policy map type QS level. Here, the class map is referenced, and the corresponding class map to its desired QS group is assigned. As those QS groups are mapped to the corresponding type queuing policies which you already modified, then the traffic assigned to a particular QS group will be classified to the corresponding queue. Notice here that you have built the class maps and the policy map type QS, but the traffic is still landing on the default queue, as seen under the show queuing interface command on the egress interface. This is because you have not assigned a service policy on ingress to classify the relevant traffic, referencing the policy map type QS. Be advised that QS classification policies are not supported globally under system QS for layer 2 switch ports, but can be applied at the interface level. You now have the three pillars for type QS policy. The service policy map to an interface. The policy map in which the QS groups were assigned and markings were set, and the class map which matched the relevant traffic, and the corresponding bandwidth allocation for the custom queuing policy. Once the service policy is applied, you can now see the traffic is classified on egress on the proper queues as designed under the show queuing interface command line. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for your time.